it's great to share the strategic agenda of our group together. And uh, this is number seven, by the way. This morning we had number six of the roadshow. And by the end of this month, we've done around 12 of them. And uh, we've t talked to, more or less, interacted with uh, close to 1,000 people. Sharing all these numbers and sharing all our thoughts and ideas and have this dialogue and interaction is hopefully also demonstrating the change in culture we are perceiving. The name of the strategy is building the present and creating the future. Our people and the way we work together, our values are the core value of our company. The first objective is focus the project portfolio. Basically it says, let's do things better. The second one is do better things. And the third one is do new things. So it's a simple three objective. The whole digitalization we see around us is going to impact us in two ways. First, how we make things. And the second thing is what we make. Through this digitalization, through BIM, through things we know, we slowly anticipate on what's coming. This is what we accomplished last year. 10 ships more or less sailing the same direction. Starting to see the potential we have in our group. And this is where we want to go. One team, not 10 teams. So this is how we will get there. It's hard work. People choose to be on board. They rely on each other. And there are a lot of interesting values. It was great that they were able to come directly to us and give us that message so that we can then take it on to the operational side and uh, people in the business can understand what we're trying to do over the next four or five years. We sent out over 100 invitations and today all 100 uh, accepted that invitation so it just shows how, how keen you are to hear what's going on in Royal Bam. The key thing it's about upping our game in terms of being more collaborative with each other, with our customers, in pre-construction, with our people, with our supply chain, in technology and looking at better ways of doing things. Is there a strategy for attracting the best talent from across different industry sectors across the world? It's explicitly in the strategy because we really, uh, let's say, identified it as the uh, first part of the foundation, the, the, the thing that everything stands on that. So I'm very inspired by what I've heard today because I think BAM are really trying to do things in a different way. I just thought the whole ethos of collaboration and interconnecting with all of the opcos, all of the businesses throughout the group was really inspiring. And I think, you know, in the future, if we could get that to work seamlessly, we'll be a very, very strong business. The fact they've come here is positive. They've given a great deal of clarity on what they expect of us. None of us in this room or in the company not even on this side of the table, can by himself make the real difference. But if we combine it all together, we can make every difference. And that's the shift we have to make in our mindset. Some of those emergent innovations come from our supply chain. A lot of them actually come from technology <coughs> developing in that supply chain. There's another kind of innovation, and that's disruptive innovation. <coughs> that disruptive innovation will happen, end of story. And we can choose to have it done to us, or we can choose to be in a position where we have some control over that. So we talked about trying to go out and collect information for other places. There's so all sorts of places you go where you can just bump into something that if you just think about where to connect it up with something, there's an opportunity again. Well, I think Rob and the execs have painted a really exciting uh, picture of what the, uh, the future could look like for the whole of the group and also obviously for BAM, not itself. So what I'll take back to my uh, division is how we can fit into that, looking at some of the things we're doing that's innovative and actually then um, do more of them. And of course, that all comes down to the quality of our people. Well, here we've got an inspirational strategy and a strategy that's, that's really believable. So we've got a way of thinking about it and a way of implementing it. And that's tremendously exciting. <laughs>